Welcome to the Wild West Show, and today we're going to be not only tip up fishing, but log ice fishing in the our house with minnows and s- smelts. Mm-hmm. And we got one, two, three or four tip ups set up and three rods. So, hopefully we'll catch some fish. And that's the Wild West Show. Good job, buddy. So, I'm sitting right here. Heater right there. Minnows right there in front of the heater so they stay alive. That's where my dad's sitting. My bag. Two rods. Tub. Knife. Hatchet. Don't know why there's a hatchet. Windows all over the place. And hang on stuff. And that's our setup. What do you think? I think we're gonna catch something. Check out the sunset, buddy. Just about to get cool. Got some tip ups up that way. We got some tip ups over here. Rod there, a couple rods in the shack. Beautiful evening here on the river. Wild West Show is going to try to catch some fish. Stay tuned. You filming a rap or something? Hell, we got smelts on our tippies, minnows and waxies on our jiggies. <laughs> That's I'm just gonna <laughs> First ice trip of the year. Couldn't get the auger started, but old trusty. Oh my god. She fired right up. There's actually a little bit of current in here. Yeah. That uh, when I lowered them schmilts down, it went. Uh, it went skirt. <laughs> they skirted that way and not that away. So the current must go that away. So the fishes might be down that way. That's okay. I got that camera standing tip up duty over there. So. You let us know, camera. We get any flags. You can actually watch on your phone. I know. I should. Flags. I can link that one. Dang! I'm glad I brought you. I knew I brought you for a reason. You're a genius. And then we got the warmed up minners. Yeah, Cope's trying to keep the minners toasty. Let's pop a squat. See if I can figure out how to link this. I feel like I'm deer hunting, peeking out at these tip ups. Okay. These cameras are cool. Check this out. I got this guy out here posting, posting up, watching these tip ups. So we don't have to watch them from your shelter. How cool is that? Look at this. Check him out. <laughs> Sit in the ice house and watch it now. What if we were watching this camera on like a Sasquatch? Like a Sasquatch just takes it and starts making a vlog. <laughs> That's the sparks we want for fire making. Yeah, but we don't want to be making fire in the ice shack, you maniac. Now you know why I got the red really extra propane bottles that were in here. There's still one more. <laughs> Are you trying to blow us up? <laughs> no, you just didn't get the last one. I didn't know it was in there. I knew you were going to be pyroing around. Did you feel something? Oh yeah, we got some. Got him. Nice and easy, buddy. Just fight him. Give him his slack. What kind of dip up fish? We were just talking about getting some snacks. Now when he gets to the bottom of the hole, make sure you don't pull too hard. You gotta get his head to turn. Get him out. Two. Oh wait, no, that's... Good job. You got a pike. That little sucker ate that big old smell. What were you thinking, dude? What were you thinking? Cooking what? that baby. Yes. You were just talking about you wanted some snacks. Let's yes. go. Give me first tip up fish of the year. Little hammy handle. First ice fish of the year. Yeah, let's get the uh, let's get him off and we'll put that rig back down. Buddy choked it. Oh my! 
dead anyway. We got it, Dude. Yeah, let me run that. Here, let's put this fucker in his mouth. Get them jazz open so we can actually function. Shit. It got nippy out here, didn't it? Yeah. Bro wanted that smell to get. He ain't getting it today. Damn near big as dang near big as he is. What's buddy thinking? Okay. We lay buddy real quick. Now that is definitely a train. fish than we're about to partake in? A little bit possible if we started to like fillet it earlier. <laughs> You'd literally have to eat it alive to get fresher than this. Right? Yeah. He's still, you just tipped him up. I'm hearing the coyotes. Do you believe? That's a nerd on the tippy. We're gonna have to properly dispose of this uh northern though. Like drop it back in the water or something. That is one hundred percent what we're gonna do. The go right coyote is gonna come. Oh, we could have coyote if we blew a lot of them in. Hatchet it. You hear them? They're close. Oh, yeah. They know we got snacks. Oh, damn. They can smell it. They're fishing too. Dude, one drop of blood will sting it. Or nose All right. a couple miles away. But he's belayed. We use him for chum. <laughs> he hangs on my. <laughs> he's probably gonna hang on my freaking. Blind and then make a sting. Oh, we got one. We got one. And For what? Oh, oh yeah, you should check our other rigs. It is still fish time. Fresh as it gets. Look at that. Now there is a nifty way to get these bones out, but I don't know how to do that. Nope. And honestly, I've never really seen it work, work very well, so I'll just go leave them in there. I ain't gonna need much of these buddies. Save the rest for the next one. Okay. So good. Drop them in. Give them a shake a shake shake. Just shine it on the goodness when we drop it in. Oh, look at them go. I could have put a hair more grease in there, but whatever. Oh. It's popping. <laughs> look at these delicious little critters. The only thing would make it better if it was some Wally, but we're, Dude, I'll take anything. we'll be grateful for this guy coming along and somehow choking that, somehow choking that giant smelt. The smelt was, we're going to have to look at the camera now. That smelt was almost his size. Yeah. <laughs> you did a great job with the, the dip up. You did the good hook set and then you, you handled him good. Fresh northern right out of the river. Not too shabby. Now we can flip these. Yep. This is how you go ice fishing. 
right out of the river into the pan. <laughs> you do not know how much my mouth is watering. You can give your first bite review. Your northern we just caught 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, probably. Hot, isn't it? How is so it? Good. <laughs> Fresh as it gets right there, buddy. You just harvested it out of the river. You got cooking. I gotta try one of these babies. This is smacking. This is definitely smacking. Mm -mm. That seasoning's good. But you guys comment down below if you know how to get wide ones out of a northern because I don't. No one's stealing my northern. The best way I've found is just like this. Look at that little cute Y bomb. <laughs> just a little feller. Mm -hmm. You guys can see that. But. Yodi's come in this shack. They're going to FAFO, right? Because we got. Their FO still? Is. I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm going shovel. What are you going? I'm going hatchet. Hatchet, not hatchet too shabby. Knife. Go Nazi style. I might just go hot paint and grease on them. Stop. After after I blind them, I just go straight Aunt Jemima. Bing, bing. <laughs> but want some more? You're done. You can have them. You're, that's your catch, buddy. Eat up. Well, we had a successful evening on the river. We caught one northern, enough to make a nice little catch and cook. It was delicious. Fresh northern right out of the river. Uh, we're going to start packing up. It's dark out here. We got uh, about a half mile back down the river to the vehicle. But uh, yeah, wonderful little evening out here. Beautiful sunset. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment and uh, like and subscribe. But uh, leave us a comment about how you get the Y bones out of your northerns or if you do. I normally don't worry about it, just eat them when I do. But, uh. Hey, bones have calcium and it'll make your bones stronger. I don't eat the bones, I just eat the northerns like normal. But, uh, yeah. Let us know in the comments what you, uh, if you have any nifty tricks for getting the bones out. So, anyways, thanks for watching the Wild West Show. See you on the next one.